in the history of the Harvest Festival, the Legend Leaf has never been. Until now, our boy Iruma does it. And as soon as he did it, who came out? The Demon King himself, Dirkla. I don't think it's actually him. It's probably like his power that he left there so that whoever actually blooms it gets a nice little surprise saying, hey, congratulations, you did it. He said, it's you, isn't it? Now, here's some wild guesses I'm going to make about Iruma and his connection to Dirkla because this has been foreshadowed at the end of Season 2 when Sullivan was looking at Iruma and he saw Dirkla. Now, some base comparisons, their hair color is pretty much the same. Bluish, purplish. Their kind personality traits, pretty much the same, right? And if we think about Iruma's parents, okay, do they... Are, are they really his parents? You know, in these kind of shonen anime series, the parents are sometimes gone or they're like, oh, it's actually not his parents. You know, Iruma actually is the son of Dirkula. Or even crazier, some kind of time travel going on. Dirkula actually is Iruma and Iruma doesn't know it. You know, this kind of thing that happens quite a lot in anime tropes too. I can maybe see something like that happening. Iruma's parents, I don't really think they're actually his parents. There's, there's something so fishy about them, right? Why would Sullivan scout Iruma out from the foreign land for him to become the demon king himself i have no clue but hey i think the pinata is about to explode let's have a feast and a celebration so it's gonna burst and then it's so cute and then i, I said that maybe like food or candy or stuff like that would just pop it's gotta be some kind of celebration uh, episode right behold it's so goofy looking dude I mean, it fits one with the theme of this show. It's all cute and goofy. What is that? Cherry blossoms? Again, we Hold a bunch of them! Are these the same kind of cherry blossoms that Iruma blossomed in Season 1 when he did Quan Quan? That's the whole forest of it! Well, that's better than candy, I guess. Oh, wait! Our... Our, uh, our friend, uh, the guardian. Fluffy, can we eat it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. It's a repeat of it. But it's like a whole force this time. Sullivan! Oh. Yes, Sully was watching the entire time with so much anxiety. Oh, Opera's ears are perking up. No, that means that Opera's actually excited. Legend leaf. This is the legend leaf. This is the legend leaf. No, 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 no. This is the legend leaf? Uh, wait, I thought the goofy looking flower was the legend leaf, but then it popped and turned into all this. So this forest of cherry blossoms, they are the legend leaf. I don't know. But if you think about it, wait, wait, wait. More connections to Dirkle and Sullivan, right? Because who set the legend leaf? Didn't... Wait, wait. Oh, new outfit. Oh, the young king outfits. <laughs> as soon as they get an outfit, <laughs> we start making pictures. It's going to be for the newspaper. But again, more connections to... Wait, wait. Was it ever stated that the Legend Leaf itself was made or prepped by Dirkula? And if it was, doesn't that just mean that Dirkula has understanding of the human world? That's why it's cherry blossoms, right? It's just crazy that... Shaq's lead, who's never gotten much screen time in season 1 and 2, suddenly is beside Inuma, the main character, as the young king. He's getting propelled in a position where the author is going to do more serious things with him, right? There's gotta be. I'm glad to see him get more recognition. Oh, ranks, right? We're going to get Dalek? Rank 4, probably? Oh. Can we go more than 4? Ah, oh, come on. I mean... You know, that's nice, but Azaz has been down for like three seasons now, right? He's built different. I, I kind of wanted to go like beyond like, I don't know, maybe five, you know? But it's nice. And remember, like everybody in this school, the most like average person would get to rank Dalit by the end of their entire schooling. So for them to do this in the first year, that's a huge deal, right? Nafla. Oh, I'm really so hyped. I'm really so hyped. <laughs> yeah? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. It's not Irumo or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everybody knows. Oh, Kalego! Kalego's gotta be proud, right? Okay, we haven't heard that in a long time. 
Mm. Congratulations. Gimel is three, is it? Two to th I can't believe he was only rank two this entire time. Because he's quite, I think, competent. His magic is crazy. Ask who later? Orobas? About the trauma powers? Um, maybe he'll join the misfits? I don't know. Would Caligo scout Orobas out like that? I, 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 I want him to join us, team, because I, I, I like Orobas personally. Sabro <laughs> still knocked out. As as disqualified, but doesn't matter. He's been dialed since like, like the second episode or something. He doesn't need the promotion, dude. He didn't even have to participate. Rank the first, like the highest, huh? Damn. Yeah, as as doesn't care about those kind of ranks. Like it just, like he is so good he just built so diff that he will always just like have a higher rank and clara somehow always like has a high rank too okay okay congrats yeah i mean you don't want to be rank one you want to go <laughs> bigger number better better rank other rewards so not just pure ranks Ooh. Yeah, for having that mansion? Wow, other forms of recognition! This is nice! Oh, we ranked up! Hey! Congrats! Jazz and Alucard, will they get a uh, dose? Got some big lips. But they're quite popular with these girls now, huh? That's nice. Um, what's his name? Dosa has actually such good one-liners just here and there, just out of nowhere. All oh, the beasts are watching too, in favor of their queen. Oh, look at those little beasts here. Oh. G Kamui also advances. Yes, Ex-Elizabeth went around seducing everybody and stealing their points. Congratulations. Only two, I thought she would be higher. <laughs> Where's Furu Furu, man? But if we're still shitting on Jazz and Alucard <laughs> no promotion. I mean, they put in so much work. I feel bad. Alucard and Jazz actually put in so much work. They were so critical to them winning at the end. Bachiko's probably so proud. There she is. <laughs> hey, hey. A jerk? Why? Oh, well, you know, it's more fun if you go from zero points to, you know, first place. Just like that. Bachigo's being such a tsundere, dude. Here's some recognition. Oh. Come on, it's your best student. Look at her smiling. Just remember her past? It was so sad. No one could keep up with, like, her expectations, and eventually they'd all leave. And Bachigo became so, like, broken. So sad until Irima showed up. This is so nice. After party, ooh, ooh, ooh. maybe we can get some one on one time with Amari now. Also, I wonder what Kaligo's gonna do with the uh, Urubas. Oh, finally, we're gonna get the. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Where's Furu Furu, man? It's probably already gone. Yep. That's not you. So, that our whole entire revenge story was like, what the fuck? Working with someone. He was, Ocho. But he's gone. Wait, that's what Kali was asking. Was Ocho ever a student? Was it? Wait. Who is this Ocho guy then? No, no, go back to. There's nothing very important. What the? F Probably some kind of spy sent in by... I don't know. Well, who's the evil faction that we know? Uh, the... The Seven Fingers or something? I don't know. Probably not. But... That's interesting. No, no, no. Please. Go. Cheer Iruma up. Come on. Get him something. Ooh, get him a present. <laughs> oh! Look at Iruma! With Clara and Asas both by her side. Wait. There's uh, two of them. And Shaq's lead with his hair all slicked up. I feel like lead needs some, uh, I don't know, people around him too, like Clara and Azaz. Oh, the trio. 
This is so precious. Yeah, I want a Zeebo cycle back though. That was so good. <laughs> Yo, I think Clara and Azaz are power tripping just a bit, you know? <laughs> huh? Who are you again? I'm kidding. Oh, there's Jazz. So Lead was like close with probably Jazz and someone else too. Like, uh, I think Garp was involved. Weren't they all like a trio in the, um, in the, uh, Walter Park? Park? Why? What's up, Kerori? Are people like... <laughs> They're kind of like stalking her? Enter your country? <laughs> They're role-playing pretty hard. <laughs> I mean, I just casually made a king dip. She's role-playing pretty hard. I mean, if you think about it, she was role-playing as the queen pretty hard. <laughs> it's nice that she had that kind of a spotlight, though, instead of having to turn into her idol form. Ex Elizabeth. I got this is quite popular with this girl squad, though. Is that Aiko at the very end? I can't tell. She's wearing glasses. What's up, Dosa? <laughs> Dosa's super into Agares, huh? Dude, those <laughs> she gets such ridiculous moments like this. I'm actually a fan. Her running gags are funny. <laughs> Finding their presence. Ocho? Ocho? Who's them? Ocho? Who is he? Who is this guy? <laughs> Shikuni. <laughs> Maybe not today. They're, they can celebrate. I'm sure he's so proud of his students. Even though he'll never show it, you know. Oh? He does give credit where it's due sometimes like this. But he'll never smile. It's, it's passable. Yeah, it's just passable. They can have a bit of fun. Come on. Because he, he's so tsundere, man. Naya! I think he just can't compliment people, you know? Oh, we summoned him. Wait, hey, Eggy Sensei, wait, what? Party trick? Come on, these are your beloved students! Hello. So fluffy. Yeah, what was this? They dare you to do it? Fair, fair. I think this one time is okay. True. Oh, I keep forgetting that. Like, if people ask him for help, he has to do it. Little things like that. Also, his ability to dodge. Like, I forgot about that for a long time. Eggy Sensei is so cute. Eggy Sensei. Oh, right. He can use Cerebrus in uh, his Eggy Sensei form. It's actually so cute, too. The big moon, small moon, Amiri and Iruma. Color coded. Come on, where is she? Hello, Opera. Oh, I like it when Opera's ears. They do a little perk. It means that Opera is satisfied. Oh, I'm glad you had fun. Oh, we're having a party too? Didn't we just come back from eating so much already? That is more of an after party. And, and? Yeah. What, what, what? Hmm? Congratulations. What do you need to talk about? Hmm? The young king. Congratulations. Oh, oh. It's his home, it's his family, it's so nice to hear that. Welcome back. They even had an entire banner posted up. And that's the episode, huh? What a nice episode to wrap up the arc. Nice celebrations, but... Who is Ocho? What is Ocho? Was he a spy sent by some evil faction? I have no idea. The legend leaf was actually a forest of sakura blossoms, the cherry blossoms. So I'm not sure if this is correct, but the assumption is true that the demon king, Dracula, was the one that prepared the legend leaf. I'm not sure why I'm saying this. I think maybe that's what they said in the past before. But if that's true, doesn't that solidify the connection between Iruma and Dracula and their connections to Earth a little bit more? There's something going on there, right? Surely Iruma's parents really aren't what they seem to be. But hey, if you you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlist to my channel for even more content and until next time take care